All right, so as of this morning, uh, there has been a big drawdown for Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. Most things are in the red. Uh, Bitcoin has retested the 6,000 levels, um, stopping out at 6,100 I saw um, on Binance. Uh, might be a bit different on some other exchanges. Uh, it's been interesting. So I think the reason for this drawdown is probably or like the trigger for it has been the, the, the delay of the ETF decision um, being postponed uh, later in September. So uh, four weeks uh, from now, we may see a, a different outcome. Um, on the positive side, there's, you know, um, they're considering uh, passing the ETF, which is, a, which is a good thing. It means that it isn't just being outright shut down or um, you know, decided against. Uh, on the negative side, I'd say that with the ETF, there's still a possibility that it will be rejected and that, um, that you know, more time means more potential regulation for the ETF, which also means um, more you know rules and regulation around that so there's you know this massive drawdown has has um really got people thinking that six thousand will be the lowest level we'll we'll reach uh, but just keep in mind so uh, on, if we flip things around and um, we think about how things or the the psychology behind most of the market as we we're going up to twenty thousand there was Definitely a sense of euphoria, but most people didn't expect us to reach 20,000, even with amongst all the crazy you know, forks and things like that. It wasn't until much, much you know, later where we had that sustained feeling of euphoria that people thought, oh, okay, so it's hit 10,000, 15,000. You know, who knows where this is gonna stop, right? But we quickly found out that you know, what goes up must come down. And I think we're on the other end of the scale now where most people think that because we've lost 80%, there isn't a possibility that we're gonna lose much more than this. However, I think that there is a possibility we should be prepared for both a bounce, but also for further drawdown. So um, what that means is risk management, um, considering having you know less exposure if you think there's further downside because the last thing you want to do is look back and go you know i had plenty of opportunity to reduce my exposure or at least manage the risk a little bit uh, i'm not saying this this will happen uh, four weeks from now we might get a positive decision saying that etf is going to get approved this might be a catalyst for um, a rally and next thing you know we're sitting at you know seven eight nine thousand um and continue forward right but i think even with the etf approval in the current psychology and state of the market there is a good chance that we'll continue to um have a drawdown even after a big rally uh, on positive news so we'll see how things go um that aside most of the market is down uh alt is still bleeding um not much else to update on i haven't really been following it too much um other than you know, looking at a little bit of the Bitcoin dominance, which is now sitting at close to 50%. Um, and also, I suppose, um, keeping an eye on a couple alts, Icon announced that their loop uh, is now rebranding to Icon Loop and also further uh, developments around the Ledger, Ledger Nano hardware wallet support. So that's all good news. Um, but yeah, in this current market, not much uh, investor confidence. And, and we can see that, you know, uh, Icon had a quick pump, but also um, it's retraced all those gains, all um, 10%. So market is not looking so great at all flash at the moment, but we might see a bit of a turnaround. Um, be interesting to see how this plays out. I'd like to sort of see uh, a bit of a rally and us to hold these 6,000 levels, but I'm also prepared um, and think that there is a possibility we're gonna go down further. Let me know what you guys think. Um, drop a comment if you agree uh, or if you don't agree uh, what are your thoughts and where do you think we go from here